we are actually building a new product. We are actually designing a new product. Uh, we're not sitting on our hands here. No one can dispute that Elon Musk is an extraordinary individual. Ultimately, we're talking about an innovator, a person behind many firsts. Looking ahead to 2025, we anticipate the introduction of new generation models with Tesla's distinctive design, yet bringing unprecedented offerings such as minivans, Model 2 Redwood, and Tesla bus. Additionally, it's crucial to note that Musk is making his mark on the world, with Optimus Gen 3 expected to undergo a 60% improvement compared to the current version. How will Tesla's CEO revolutionize the electric car market next year with its unique offspring? Let's find out in today's episode of Tesla Car World. Before we begin, please show your support by subscribing if you haven't already and ringing the bell so you won't miss out on any of our interesting videos in the future. Now, let's get started with today's content. How will Tesla bring Optimus to new heights through comprehensive and innovative changes? Tesla's announced plans to manufacture a quantity of Optimus units in 2025, with Elon Musk expressing optimism about delivering the first robots to customers as soon as possible. In a recent impressive update on the project's progress, Tesla focused on the walking capabilities of the Optimus robot, showcasing a significant increase in both speed and notable changes in its step execution, along with refinements in its appearance. So what are the astonishing changes that have been introduced? In the improved Gen 3 version of Optimus for 2025, the robot's height has been adjusted to 1.6 meters, precisely the average height of an adult woman. A comparison with the previous version, Optimus 2023, highlights the flexibility in design as the height's been reduced by 12 centimeters. Beyond focusing on height, Tesla's paid attention to the weight of Optimus, maintaining it at 50 kilograms. Compared to the previous version, there's a slight reduction of 6.7 kilograms, a clever consideration to ensure nimble movement and flexible interaction without compromising the robot's strength and functionality. This marks a significant advancement, demonstrating Tesla's emphasis not only on performance, but also on aesthetic appeal and user convenience when integrating Optimus into daily life. Tesla may further consider incorporating lightweight and durable materials such as carbon fiber and aluminum into Optimus. This change reduces weight by 20%, boosting movement speed by 20%, and increasing the maximum load capacity by 10%. Rigidity is triple, providing robust load-bearing capability and flexible movement. Additionally, heightened rigidity reduces vibrations, making Optimus move more smoothly and steadily. Moreover, this upgrade is expected to double the lifespan, decreasing maintenance and repair costs. Envisioning the entirely new Gen 3 model, Optimus exhibits meticulous detailing in every aspect of its head, featuring a sleek, elongated form. The large, glossy designed eyes not only reflect intelligence, but also add an elegant touch. A petite mouth contributes to a sophisticated feel, while compact ears enhance Optimus's ability to hear sounds within a 100-meter range and filter out noises. The body of Optimus is characterized by a slender design with curves that hug the body. Muscle details create a powerful yet healthy appearance. The shiny surface not only enhances aesthetics but also facilitates easy cleaning and maintenance. Beyond future aesthetic considerations, one of the highlights of Optimus is its focus on movement capabilities for general human purposes, especially the dexterity of its hands. Optimus's hands are designed to be slender and flexible, with fingers capable of independent movement. The palm is equipped with advanced sensors, allowing the robot to recognize and grasp objects flexibly. This feature enables Optimus to perform various complex tasks, such as typing or drawing, with the ability to move freely, rotating 360 degrees. Notably, Optimus can lift objects weighing up to 10 kilograms. The upgraded leg section of Optimus is robustly designed, providing stability and flexibility during movement. The feet are equipped with shock-absorbing components, enabling Optimus to move more smoothly on any terrain. With a maximum speed of 20 kilometers an hour and the ability to jump one meter, Optimus's legs serve not only as means of transportation, but also as a versatile tool for performing diverse tasks on various terrains. Optimus Gen 3, expected to debut in 2025, has achieved a remarkable leap in its movement capabilities, as demonstrated in a video released by the Tesla Optimus account on X. The video showcases the robot's agile movements and its ability to perform circular tasks within an office environment. According to engineer Milan Kovac, a project team member, Optimus is currently moving up to 30% faster than during testing in December. This improvement is attributed to upgrades in the forefoot system, trajectory optimization, and ground interaction, as well as the optimization of communication logic. 
This helps the robot react more responsively, maintain balance, and coordinate more effectively. This progress occurred in just two months, suggesting that with the upcoming version next year, a 60% increase in movement speed is highly plausible, thanks to detailed movements in the forefoot system, trajectory optimization, and ground interaction. Furthermore, Optimus 2025 is not limited to moving on flat surfaces, but is expected to expand its flexibility on more challenging and uneven terrains with high stability. Longer and stronger legs assist the robot in easily overcoming obstacles. To enhance reliability, Kovac added that even with a faster walking speed, Optimus remains more stable and confident overall. The team has even added the ability for the robot to sway its torso and arms to make it walking more human-like. Kovac details the advancements in the robot's moving capabilities, stating, We have improved our motion system, regularly stepping out of the frame without falling, walking faster, increasingly resembling humans. He also mentioned the development of a remote operating system with low latency and high accuracy used to train AI, where the bot mimics human-specific tasks. With these improvements, Optimus Gen 3 promises to drive significant growth in the humanoid robot market. Predictions suggest that the market could reach over $13.8 billion by 2028, even higher than previous estimates. With a pioneering Optimus Gen 3, Tesla has the potential to become a leading humanoid robot provider in the future. What are your thoughts on the latest designs from the Gen 3? Please leave your comments below down in the comments section. If the continuous improvements of Optimus already intrigue you, the next model we unveil will likely captivate you even more, because Elon Musk has a reputation for surprising us with innovations beyond our expectations. Why will the design of Tesla's 2025 minivan shake up the electric vehicle market? In 2022, the sales of electric vehicles in the family segment reached 2.9 million units and it's projected to increase to 14.3 million units by 2028, exhibiting an impressive compound annual growth rate of 32%. This segment is currently the fastest growing in the electric vehicle market, highlighting the rising demand for electric cars suitable for families. Seizing this opportune moment, Tesla set to unveil its minivans model, taking advantage of the favorable conditions and especially leveraging its unique design to gain a significant advantage upon entering the market. The exterior design of the Tesla minivans promises to introduce an entirely new aesthetic, breaking away from traditional car designs. Drawing inspiration from spacecraft, the minivan showcases Tesla's innovation and creativity through its sleek appearance. Modern 3D LED lighting is integrated with intelligent features, automatically adjusting brightness and direction based on environmental conditions to ensure safety and optimal visibility for the driver. The LED taillights are designed for enhanced recognition and safety during nighttime travel. The side mirrors use digital cameras, eliminating blind spots, assisting the driver in easier and safer observations. The sensor system includes radar, LiDAR, and a 360-degree camera to aid the driver in parking and safe maneuvering. The roof of the car can be equipped with solar panels to extend the range of the vehicle. The aerodynamic design of the minivan is optimized to minimize air resistance enhance operational range, and improve energy efficiency. The windows and side mirrors are also aerodynamically designed, contributing to reducing wind noise and providing a smooth and comfortable driving experience. The square-shaped design maximizes interior space, offering spaciousness for both passengers and cargo. The cargo space can expand from 700 liters to 2,000 liters, catering to the diverse needs of users. The flexible seats, adjustable in multiple positions, ensure maximum comfort for passengers throughout their journey. The vehicle boasts a lightweight and robust aluminum frame, reducing overall weight and enhancing operational efficiency. The panoramic windshield provides a wide field of view for the driver and passengers. The windows are made of tempered glass, providing excellent impact resistance for user safety. The electric sliding doors offers convenience for both entry and exit, particularly suitable for families with young children. Large wheels, ranging from 19 to 22 inches, made of aluminum or steel alloy, enhances aesthetics and road grip. The Michelin Pilot Sport 4S tires, size 255-45R20 or 285-40R22, contribute to improved performance and safety. The Tesla minivans is expected to be a groundbreaking step in the electric vehicle domain, especially due to the use of premium materials ensuring durability and superior protection. Specifically, the vehicle will be equipped with Tesla Armor Glass, a bullet-resistant glass that's 20 times stronger than regular glass, enhancing safety in case of collisions. Bulletproof against firearms, providing high-level protection and reducing wind noise by up to 
creating a comfortable driving experience. The solid stainless steel is also applied to this model, enhancing stiffness by up to 30%, improving load-bearing capacity, and enhancing impact resistance. It effectively prevents dents, scratches, deformations, ensuring the vehicle maintains a fresh appearance. It has corrosion resistance, protecting the vehicle in harsh weather conditions and increasing overall lifespan. According to Tesla, their Cybertruck, another model of theirs, is made from 3mm thick stainless steel, capable of withstanding the impact force of a 30-pound dumbbell falling from a height of 6 feet, showcasing the material's durability. The Tesla Armor Glass Bulletproof Glass has also undergone real-world tests, withstanding 9mm gunfire demonstrating unparalleled protective capabilities. By using these premium materials, the Tesla minivans promises to offer many advantages over traditional models, including high durability, low maintenance needs, optimal protection capabilities, excellent performance, and a stylish, classy, and unique design that reflects the owner's personality. The Tesla minivans has the potential to become the top choice for those seeking a vehicle that combines style, performance, and durability. How does Tesla envision the success and excellence of Model 2 Redwood in meeting customer preferences and needs? The anticipation for the long-awaited Model 2 from Tesla seems to be justified not just by its price, but also by the gradually unveiled design, making it one of the most anticipated electric vehicles in 2025. While much remains unknown about the possible body designs of the Model 2 upon its debut, it's not just a concept on paper anymore, but a digitally crafted idea. Recently, Tesla's chief designer, Franz von Holzhausen, created a hardcover version resembling a two-seat robo-taxi with minimalist interiors, suggesting that the Model 2 will likely have an extended wheelbase, potentially accommodating four to five seats. Its length might be around 163 inches, like the Toyota Yaris, or a slightly longer 176 inches, similar to the Nissan Leaf. Speculations indicate it could feature a bold and rugged appearance, resembling a mini Cybertruck with stainless steel exteriors, providing a distinctive and coherent touch to Tesla's production line. The interior design is expected to align with the Model 3 and Model Y, featuring the familiar touchscreen interface of 15.4 inches eliminating the steering wheel in favor of direct buttons on the screen. Considering the small electric hatchback segment, a front-wheel drive system is a competitive choice due to its cost-effectiveness. The Model 2 Redwood is expected to employ a motor that bypasses rare-earth elements like neodymium, dysprosium, and terbium, operating as powerful miniature magnets, a crucial component for electric vehicle motors and batteries. To streamline the final production phase, Tesla's 16,000-ton Gigapress technology will facilitate mass production with lower costs and higher precision, creating a unique frame that combines the front and rear sections with the central electric chassis containing the battery. This approach is expected to be used in Tesla's upcoming small electric car. Impressively, the Tesla Model 2 will utilize a 53-kilowatt-hour lithium-iron phosphate battery, marking a technological breakthrough in Tesla's battery tech offering high performance and cost efficiency. Although these battery cells are smaller than traditional ones, they prove to be more efficient in energy storage. The results suggest that the Model 2's range will increase by approximately 16% per kilowatt hour. Tesla plans to incorporate these new cells into the car structure with the idea of using them in the Model Y as well. In Elon Musk's vision, some issues related to the implementation of Tesla's fully autonomous driving system, as per Elon Musk's plan, have been revealed. The Model 2 is set to be introduced with a full self-driving V12 as Tesla's dropped the beta sign from the fully autonomous driving system, as confirmed by Elon Musk on X. While this is intriguing, it might be a simplification of naming the software equipped in Tesla models. Similar to Tesla's Autopilot being a product still in a testing phase, it's no longer referred to as Autopilot Beta. Elon Musk places significant value of Tesla's fully autonomous driving program suggesting that self-driving cars will be the key to the company's proposed future value. With the idea of eliminating pre-encoded traffic rules, the new FSD will learn how the world operates from the Dojo supercomputer system. It's a perfect blend of automotive technology and AI, less concerning than integrating AI into the military. This feature can be seamlessly integrated into RoboTaxi, a variant of the Model 2, Redwood without a steering wheel and pedals or directly equipped in the Model 2, significantly reducing costs for electric vehicle ownership. Tesla's next profits may rely on leasing limited access to this software. What impetus could this next-generation model generate to make this electric car market even more exciting? 
Tesla envisions that heavy-duty trucks will significantly reduce transportation costs while enhancing safety and security. This makes operating a Tesla truck both exciting and potentially more efficient with the advent of self-driving capabilities. It may be reasonable to imagine downsizing a bus and transitioning the role of bus driver to a fleet manager. This shift could lead to the introduction of smaller and lighter cargo carrying buses, possibly to be unveiled in Tesla's first bus model in 2025. Due to its large size, the Tesla bus is expected to use a 300 kilowatt hour LFP battery as revealed in Tesla's comprehensive plan. The bus's design will borrow heavily from the Tesla Semi, not just in terms of aesthetics, but also in terms of drivetrain and architecture. It's a smaller battery pack, ranging from 500 to 800 kilowatt hours, is expected to place the Tesla's bus price at around 120,000 US dollars. In contrast, the anticipated price range for the Tesla Semi starts from $180,000 to $250,000 US dollars, depending on its battery configuration. Notably, the BYD K7M electric bus equipped with a 266 kilowatt hour battery pack carries a similar price tag. Despite consuming less than 2 kilowatt hours per mile based on the LFP battery structure in the Tesla Semi, the heavy duty truck design significantly reduces its operating range. Thus, the Tesla bus's estimated range is around 350 miles per single charge, given its simplified design with just the shell, frame, and passenger seats inside, with the battery pack being the heaviest component. With an interior design for 12 passengers suitable for the compact bus design, Tesla's bus could operate in tunnels, as suggested by the absence of middle seats to optimize interior space. The distinctive Tesla electric bus is likely to stand out, featuring a structured and aesthetically pleasing design similar to the Tesla Semi, promising the lowest drag coefficient on the market. The Tesla Semi boasts a revealed drag coefficient of 0.22 CD, thanks to its impressive bullet-shaped design. This trend is reflected in the Cybertruck, another electric vehicle with a unique design and extends to the space transport sector, including SpaceX's rapidly deployable transportation vehicles and reusable products. Since the innovation of Tesla's first electric vehicle over a decade ago, the world seems captivated by the promise of mobility, reduced air emissions, and innovative design. From the Model S, Model X, and Model 3, along with Model Y, to the Tesla Semi and the recent debut of the Cybertruck, Tesla's product line promises a bold future. However, the introduction of an electric self-driving bus in Elon Musk's recent revelations adds another dimension to Tesla's product portfolio. With the recent delivery commencement and official launch of the Cybertruck and the pending arrival of the Roadster, the smaller Model 2 is still shrouded in Tesla's secret roadmap. It may take a few more years before we see these new models. This comprehensive roadmap not only discusses Tesla's in-house products, but also outlines the trajectory through which Elon Musk believes his company can reshape the world by enabling the use of clean energy. Musk always harbors ambitious dreams, sometimes not yet realized, but at least in all aspects of part three of his plan, we finally have some specific specifications for these new models. The emergence of Tesla's new products in 2025 brings diversity and flexibility to the Tesla product line. With unique designs and unparalleled features, they promise to meet the diverse needs of customers, marking a significant milestone in the global transition to electric vehicles. Will the upcoming market that Elon Musk is entering reshape the game with new products? First, to assess the potential of unveiling this robo-taxi masterpiece, it's necessary to recall what Musk and Tesla have said about it. In 2022, addressing shareholders during the company's quarterly earnings conference in the first quarter, Elon Musk announced that the electric car company plans to commence mass production of self-driving robo-taxis in 2024. Specifically, Musk said, it is going to be highly optimized for autonomy, meaning it won't have steering wheel or pedals. There are a number of other innovations around it that I think are quite exciting, but it's fundamentally optimized to achieve the lowest fully considered cost per mile or kilometer when counting everything. Looking at some of our projections, it would appear that a robotaxi ride will cost less than a bus ticket, a subsidized bus ticket, or a subsidized subway ticket, compared to the majority who still confuse it with a $25,000 EV. In fact, this robotaxi is not the $25,000 Model 2, but another car model in the same project, which is even cheaper and much more minimalist. For example, if the Model 2 car is fully designed with four seats, this robo-taxi may only have two seats, as many speculate and resemble the drawings in Walter Isaacson's book. 
Most recently, we have learned that it is highly likely to be produced on the same assembly line as the $25,000 car because Tesla is believed to have developed an entirely new platform for these next-generation models. Internally referred to as the NV9X, this platform is designed for a range of compact models in the future, currently including the Model 2 and the RoboTaxi in its lineup. If the hypothesis is NV9X is the assembly process unbox process that Tesla has introduced, then the RoboTaxi is not too slow to appear in the market. According to the information posted, this is a new production method that Tesla plans to implement later this year at the Texas factory. This process aims to simplify production, reduce costs by 50%, and decrease the factory scale by 40%. In this process, major components of the car, such as the outer metal, doors, and front part of the car, are painted separately and then assembled back together at the end. Subcomponents are joined together, and the structural battery pack, including the seats, is lifted from below into position. The unboxing process is facilitated by massive monolithic casting blocks and a structural battery pack. Tesla's intention is to cast the complex underbody of an electric car as a single part, as opposed to the traditional 400 separate components. This leap is a focal point in Musk's unbox process manufacturing strategy. What's even more remarkable is Musk's ability to leverage the role of 3D printing in this production method. By utilizing 3D printing machines and industrial sand, Tesla aims to design molds capable of producing large automotive components. This is a solution to address the challenging situation regarding gigacasting, significantly reducing both time and costs. On the other hand, challenges arise with traditional aluminum alloys. However, foundry experts with improved suitable alloys and cooling processes are paving the way for the development of this technology. If this technology truly succeeds, we dare to assert that Tesla's $25,000 Model 2 and RoboTaxi are top contenders for this solid cast technique. A simpler underbody akin to a battery tray with small wings could be the ideal platform. Very glad to hear that in the fourth quarter 2023 meeting, Drew Buglinos clearly stated they have enough 4680 batteries for all their vehicles and are accelerating production. This instills a strong belief that by the year 2026 or later, when the RoboTaxi is launched, Tesla can indeed meet the 4680 demand for this vehicle entirely. Why might the design of the RoboTaxi be a potential game changer for Tesla? About a design that Tesla could use for RoboTaxis, the second image in Walter Isaacson's book depicts Franz von Halshausen, Tesla's chief designer, standing next to a first-generation robot taxi. It's more like a cutout cardboard, once again showcasing two seats as well as luggage space in the back. You need to understand that an effective RoboTaxi should have two light seats with ample cargo space in the back instead of four seats and not be able to carry other passengers' luggage. However, RoboTaxi can also provide many options two seats or four seats for many pre-orders. For example, if there's only one passenger who needs to travel with only a small amount of luggage, using a two-seat service would be ideal. This not only optimizes costs, but also creates a comfortable and private experience for that passenger. Conversely, when there are many people or a large amount of luggage, the four-seat service becomes more useful. This not only maximizes convenience, but also helps reduce costs per passenger. The key words here are flexibility and options, helping Tesla's robo-taxi become an efficient means of transportation and suitable for all users' special situations. It's unclear when that design came from, but the photo is in the introduction to Autopilot, an advanced driver assistance system from Tesla and Musk's life from 2014 to 2016. Comparing that photo with another suggested photo of robo-taxi, the similarity is 90% pointing to a minimalist robo-taxi with a new design from the future. To portray the similarity, the car has a curved shape on top, which will be seen again when we look at some other design mock-ups. We clearly see Tesla's design language, with a fascia and a small bend at the front. It looks like there's also a wheel guard at the front to make the car truly aerodynamic. It's not too difficult to perceive that in some aspects, it resembles a replica of an Aptera. From an exterior perspective, this design features an ultra-low ground clearance and the rear wheels are enclosed. In our opinion, this doesn't seem to be an ideal scenario in regions with heavy snowfall. A more notable feature is that you can see the doors opening upward rather than outward, which could be designed for added convenience in getting in and out of the vehicle, while also emphasizing novelty compared to traditional models. 
The theory is that this could be automated, as when it arrives, it simply needs to lift up for passengers to board, at least for the robotaxi version. Sometimes falcon wings or butterfly doors make so much sense for a robotaxi. Elon was concerned about people not shutting doors. We bet these are fully automated to lift up and down on request. Also, no danger of banging doors into another car if it's parked close. Some people are questioning whether this is a three-wheel car with two wheels at the front and one at the back, but this doesn't seem to be accurate. Tesla will still develop a four-wheeled robotaxi, and this image is highly likely to represent what Tesla will apply to this model. Of course, this is just an illustration of the manufacturer's new design. It must be said that the compact and robotaxi version should be very similar in terms of design, differing only in the fact that the robotaxi may lack a steering wheel and gas pedal. It could have some additional functions around the vehicle, allowing you to input codes at the gate and obtain parking tickets. More accurately, based on the design, the EV Gen 3 for personal use is expected to be available for sale a few years before the official launch of the robotaxi model. This is especially relevant as full self-driving FSD technology may still take several years to develop with maximum precision and refinement. Moreover, navigating government regulations for driverless, geofence-free robotaxis is likely to pose a significant challenge. Certainly, both images with the hardcover model are merely early concepts for the robotaxi. Currently, it remains uncertain whether this is the idea that Tesla will ultimately pursue, given the evolving and increasingly efficient design approaches. Therefore, we're particularly interested in seeing how it'll look in the final version, and we may expect to gather more information from now until the end of 2024. Like the Tesla Robotaxi, Apple's been trying to develop a fully self-driving electric car for a decade. But in the end, the Apple car will forever fade into the past. So what happened to Apple Car? From all that we know about the Apple Car, in 2014, Apple initiated Project Titan. With over a thousand automotive experts and engineers working on developing a self-driving electric vehicle at a secret location near the company's Cupertino headquarters. Specifically, they aim to develop an electric vehicle with driver assistance features similar to those offered by Tesla. The car was intended to feature a level 2 autonomous driving system, including lane keeping assistance and automatic braking and acceleration. However, the driver would still be in control of the vehicle and would need to remain attentive while driving. Initially, Apple planned to create a car without a steering wheel or pedals that could operate autonomously, featuring a minimalist design with a distinct Apple style. In 2020, Reuters reported that Apple was considering launching a car as early as 2024 or 2025. However, progress faced hurdles even before the global automotive industry was disrupted by the COVID-19 pandemic. Ultimately, after the disruption, Apple decided to pursue a simpler design to bring some types of cars to the market, with an expected launch around 2028. Apple is believed to have created a high-end processor for the Apple car, and it's the most advanced component Apple's developed to date, boasting a power four times that of Mac chips. It's made from a neural processing unit capable of handling the remarkable AI workload required for an autonomous vehicle. TSMC is expected to manufacture the chip, the same company that produces chips for the iPhone, iPad, and Mac. Apple's car will utilize LiDAR sensors, radar sensors, and cameras to enhance driver assistance features. The determination to launch a groundbreaking electric car is noteworthy because Apple lacks experience in car manufacturing. So they'll need partners to produce the vehicle, and Apple is believed to have been working to secure partnerships within the automotive industry. It's still unclear whom Apple will collaborate with, but they've held discussions with Hyundai and other companies. The Apple car has been described as the next star product for Apple, with the company potentially offering better integrated software, hardware, and services compared to potential competitors in the automotive market. The Apple car may be positioned in the market as a premium vehicle rather than a standard electric car, but Apple is aiming for a price point below $100,000. But faced with the anticipation of fans, the manufacturer officially confirms the cancellation of its ambitious electric car development plan after 10 years of effort. The fact that the Titan project's been canceled leads to more headaches than the feasible products the company was aiming for. The tech giant has surprised nearly 2,000 employees working on the project with the news that they're about to be abandoned. Some will be transferred to AI-related projects, while others may apply for available positions. But many of them will also face layoffs. It's hard to believe that Apple's breakthrough in the electric car industry has come to a halt. Despite a 10-year development effort and even rumors of supposedly more realistic goals just announced a month ago, the tech giant is still being ousted. Initially, the abandonment of Project Titan came as a shock within the company. So why did Apple give up the Apple car so easily? 
Well, Apple knows that manufacturing an electric car will not be profitable in the next five to 10 years. However, with an investment in generative AI, they can quickly enhance their other products and have the opportunity to become the largest ecosystem in the expansive field of AI. In fact, in Apple's decade-long effort to develop a car, AI has also been a focal point. Apple is striving to build a robust and energy-efficient AI system to enable fully autonomous driving. By abandoning the car project, Apple can concentrate on integrating AI into existing products, including the iPhone and iPad, thereby avoiding falling further behind technology rivals such as Google, Amazon, and Microsoft. The decision to withdraw from Apple's car project is reasonable. The automotive industry is a fiercely competitive space to create differentiation, and even newcomers like Rivian and Lucid are feeling the heat. The recent price cuts by Tesla indicate how profit margins are being squeezed. When everyone's manufacturing electric vehicles, it's challenging to justify higher prices when faced with intense competition. Apple's culture of secrecy and surprise product launches would not align well with the realities of automotive development. However, for the automotive business, while profit margins may be slim, the revenue potential is substantial. Apple's car project has long been considered one of the next big things for the company to tightly integrate consumers into its ecosystem. If they had a strong marketing strategy, production capabilities, meeting demand, and a compelling vehicle could have been a different story. It's worth noting last year, Tesla generated nearly $100 billion in revenue. Tesla CEO Elon Musk appears to have welcomed the news of Apple ending its car project, sharing a post on social media about this development with his own commentary, a waving emoji and a cigarette emoji. In short, Apple abandoned the development of a self-driving car due to a lack of experience in the field and an inability to ensure competitive pricing if the Apple car were to be launched. Furthermore, Tesla is leading the electric vehicle market with advanced full self-driving technology, making it extremely challenging to compete with Elon Musk. Tesla's fully capable of mass-producing autonomous robo-taxis, with projections of up to 50 million units for both the Model 2 and robo-taxi throughout the product lifestyle. However, the crucial factors are the timing of the launch and the reliability of the robo-taxi for the customers. Although there are still limitations to the widespread adoption of robo-taxi technology, such as legal barriers and consumer trust concerns, robo-taxis are an integral component of the autonomous driving ecosystem. These vehicles rely on the integration of advanced technologies, including artificial intelligence, machine learning sensors, and complex algorithms to perceive the surrounding environment and make real-time driving solutions. Autonomous vehicles have fewer human errors, making transportation safer for both passengers and pedestrians. Robo-taxis can optimize routes and reduce traffic congestion by communicating with other autonomous vehicles and traffic management systems. The shift towards self-driving robo-taxis powered by electricity has the potential to reduce carbon emissions and urban transportation. In summary, Tesla's robo-taxi technology is poised to revolutionize transportation with its groundbreaking features. By integrating robo-taxi technology with other IoT-supporting devices, the future is likely to witness a significant change in how we commute between different locations, leading to a major transformation in the way people and goods move around the world. So, what do you think about the Apple car being canceled, and what do you expect if Tesla will really keep its promise with an autonomous robo-taxi? We appreciate your contributions. We hope you'll have the most relaxing feelings after watching this video. If you did, please hit the like button and join the Tesla Car World family by subscribing to our channel. And don't miss out on any of our awesome videos by hitting the bell icon. We value your feedback and your time. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you soon. Until then, stay safe and have fun.